Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and today we have another subscription box. This is from Barrel and Blade for March. Let's open it up and see what we got. Alright, so we got March Barrel and Blade and I will have a link in the description to their website if you are interested in in uh, subscribing to this service you can go there and you can get all of the relevant information and this is the this is the second box that I've received from Barrel and Blade so if you want to go back in the in the uh, in the channel and look at the other video of the first barrel and blade you're more than welcome to do so and i encourage you to so let's see wow look at all kinds of stuff let's see do we got a card yes we got a card okay this is barrel and blade tactical survival monthly operation 57 bug out this month uh this month theme is based around bugging out. We are excited to bring you some very useful items for your bug out kit. So there you go. And as always, link in the description and you can find them at barrelandblade.com. Follow on social media at Barrel and Blade Tactical. Not going to look at the stuff as we are going to just start pulling stuff out of this box. And the thing right on top here is some 550 nylon braided cord from Urban Survival Gear. Uh, let's see, manufactured by a U.S. government contractor. So we got some 550 cord that supposedly is made from a contractor to the U.S. government, which is interesting. How much is this? How much does it say? No, it just says each core contains seven removable inner strands that can be used in emergency or survival situation, yada, yada, yada. 50 feet. That's right there on the bottom. Okay. 50 feet of paracord, which is a really good amount to just throw in your bag and have because you can do, you know, if you're, if you're doing, if you're stringing up shelter or anything like that or anything that you're repurposing, like if you are actually pulling those braids apart and you're actually using it for any kind of trapping or fishing, you know, 50 feet's more than enough. So, good option there. Let's see, a little small item. We have a multi-purpose microfiber towel from Urban Sur uh, Survival Gear. This is 30 by 50 inches, so it's it's pretty big. 85% polyester, 15% uh, uh, polyamide. Yeah, I guess. Lightweight, super resorbent, quick drying, uh, stitch edged with snap hanging strap. So yeah, this is this is actually a, a really nice looking little microfiber towel. Super absorbent. Yeah, I like that. Will definitely come in handy. Let's see. We got a flexible water bottle from Five Star Gear. Pretty very simple BPA free 550 milliliters or 19 ounces just a flexible little water bottle foldable identifiable freezable attachable reusable so yeah I don't know how I feel about these things yeah I can take them or leave them uh, I know you know there are in the backpacking community there are really uh, specific uses for bottles like this um, I tend to just kind of go camping not really do a lot of hiking and backpacking although I won't you know I won't rule it out so and one, one of these days I'm going to get around to doing some more stuff like that hopefully soon let's see we got two looks like we got two glow two uh, chem lights interesting we got a orange and a blue from Sage Security Products Incorporated. What are the eight, eight hour? Okay, the blue, the blue in here is eight hour. It's an eight hour stick. And the orange one, <laughs> for whatever reason, it's 12 hour. 
waterproof, windproof, and of course, very simple to use if you, if you don't have any uh, familiarity with these, you just snap them, creates a chemical reaction, and then they light, they light up. Simple. Let's see. These are awesome. This is a Zippo Firefast Torch. These things are really, really awesome. Talking about starting a fire fast, man, this is how you start a fire fast. Hence why it's called Fire Fast, because it starts a fire very fast. So yeah, very simple, you know. Just put the fuel in it, pull the trigger like a gun. It has a variable soft yellow or blue flame torch. Nice. And surprisingly enough, they actually give you a canister of butane fuel for the for the uh, torch, which is nice. Okay, so there you go. So there you go. It's interesting that they can ship they can ship this right in this box without there was no. There was no real markings on it, so that's kind of it's kind of interesting. And then we got a little knife, which is a cold steel urban edge. Just a little, a little. Uh, it looks like a little neck knife. We'll, we'll look at that. We'll get this big old box out of the way. And then what? What we got here? This is a bag. So I'm assuming if the theme here is bug out that this would be a bag that would make the most sense we'll kind of save this for a minute let's go ahead and look at this little blade since you guys if you've been watching my channel you know I, I do like my knives so it's always a treat when I get these boxes that have knives in them because I feel I'm one of those people that feel you can never have too many knives and yes it's, it's just a little neck job a little neck knife give you they give you some some stuff there to hang it around your neck and it does have a little sheath. Ooh, it's got really good retention. Wow, really good retention. Like it's almost stuck. <clears throat> Man, it was jammed in there. But yeah, Urban Edge. Let's see if I can, maybe, maybe, is there something in there? Because that thing was really difficult to pull out. Okay, maybe it was just... Yeah, it's much easier now. Yeah. I guess maybe just, you know, from it sitting in there for so long, maybe temperature changes. The, the pieces in there just kind of really grabbed onto the knife. But yeah, that's what she looks like. You got a flat, completely flat on this side. There you go. Completely flat on that side and then we have some tapering on this side and both edges are sharp of this on this little blade and yeah if it's you know it's, it's, these things are really nice you can hold them you can hold them a real a lot of different ways and for me I, I'm not against these double these double edged neck knives I prefer just a single edge neck knife because when I wear these, I tend to use them a lot for just opening boxes and stuff. And I really don't want another edge, you know. But it's just my personal preference. I don't have anything against this. But, yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on that. But, yeah, these, these knives are awesome, man. They're just total multi-purpose. You know, you throw them in a bag, put them around your neck. You know, there you go. And it's from Cold Steel. And let's see what it, there's no card or anything. So let's just see what's on the box. And here's here's the box. If you wanna, it, hopefully it focuses and you can read the stuff there on the bottom. But I'll I'll go over it with you. It says it is AUS 8A steel, 1.9 ounce, four inch in length, two and a half inch blade length, three millimeters on the blade, with an inch and a half handle. And I'm I'm gonna go off on a tangent here, so just bear with me because I do like knives. The the steel. AUS 8A is pretty much the same thing as AUS A. AUS 8, not A. Okay. And basically, these are just, you know, this is a stainless, a uh, 
sort of low carbon stainless and one of the things that I love to get into knives is you know a lot of these manufacturers they source the steel from a handful of places and depending on the manufacturer they have different <laughs> designations like if you actually just look up knife steel you'll get you know a pretty big graph of all these different steels and a lot of them are very very close in their composition and what they offer you in that knife. And AUS 8 is a, if my memory serves, it's, it's a really decent, you know, for a more inexpensive knife. It's a really good steel. You know, like I said, it, 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 one thing about it, like this, you're going to use this for maybe, you know, opening a lot of boxes and stuff like that, and it will serve you well but it will dull quickly but it will sharpen easily so there's a little trade-off there and you know this kind of steel i would say it's something similar to like a 440 stainless if you were going to say such a thing but it it's used in a ton of knives like gerber's uh, ontario i think uses this in some of their knives um sog i know uses it even some i have a k-bar knife that is made out of this this AUS 8 but you know it's a good steel shorthand it's a good steel it's good bang for your buck you know if you get a knife with it you'll be really happy because the knife will not break the bank like something like a bench made and you know you'll be you'll be happy with it so sorry for going down I just really like knives and I really like talking about knives and everything like that so the theme here Operation 57 is bug out, so they kind of give you a bug out bag. And this bag here is from who? Who is this from? DDT, a veteran owned and operated. You can find them at www.ddt-ops.com. That would be ddtops.com with a, with a dash in between the DDT and the ops. It's a Venom 40, uh, Venom 48 hour assault bag. So let's see the features here. It says it has a handgun holster in, wow, wow, it's got a handgun holster inside. Wait a minute now. Four main compartments with mesh pockets inside. It has some padding. It's, uh, it's 1000 D nylon fabric and it's made in Vietnam. All right. Tech 70 nylon bonded thread. I don't know what that means, but it sounds cool, and yeah, we'll, 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 we'll rock with it. I want to see this holster, man. Where's this holster at? Oh, this is really cool. They got some, I don't know if this, this will, maybe this will show up in the camera here, but this inner lining, actually, I, I cannot tell if you guys can see that or not, but it has the DDT, like their, their logo, kind of shadowed in this red it's really neat so it's just i don't know I, i'm a sucker i'm a sucker for little nice touches like that so yeah and being a 1000 d bag it's nice the zippers the zippers are really really robust and let's see if i can show you this the zippers have do these things they they overlap right yeah oh i love that i love this bag i can already tell you the zippers have pulls on them but the zippers have Let's see if I can show you guys real quick. If you can see, maybe, if my camera will focus good enough, right here, the zippers come together and they have, let's see, how, how can I do this? Maybe I can do it right here on this one. Let's see. Okay. Hopefully it's focusing and you guys can see. These are the pulls for the zipper but you see these things right here and right here they're two little round holes and what they do when the zippers come together they overlap and you can actually run something through there to actually lock the two zippers closed hopefully you hopefully you guys can see that that's that these are the best zippers that I've ever seen on a bag I love these zippers they're very heavy duty and the fact that you can you can make them together and the and the, the two things overlap and then you can run a piece of cordage through keeps the bathroom coming opening it's awesome so yeah already this is really this is a really good looking bag let's see what we got on this side we got chest what do we got here we got a chest strap 
or a waist. We got a waist strap, we got a chest strap, and we got some, you know, typical breathable mesh padded. And we got some padding here on the back, and it looks like this opens up. And by the way, all the zippers that I'm seeing, all the zippers do lock, so that that's that's really nice. And let's see, this this on the back here, the zipper only goes to right here, but this one, the other one goes down a lot to give you easy access here. And we have a hole. It's a pretty big compartment, but what's interesting is that the hole goes inside the bag. So I was thinking, you know, and it does have a little thing here to hang, so you could put a water bladder in here, but you wouldn't want to run your drinking spigot into the bag. It'd be nice if there was a way to run it out at the top. But that's okay, you can still do it. You know, you can still definitely, it's still doable. Okay, so, okay, that's, that's a little criticism that I have, but that's okay, it's, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Now this is what I was talking about. From the back, from this compartment right here, you have this hole, this hole right here that comes from your back, but it goes into the main compartment, the main clam here of the bag. So it would be nice if on the back here you had some kind of hole, or maybe I'm just not seeing it. Oh, okay, I got you. Never mind, never mind, my bad. You, this is kind of, well, you guys in the comment section down below, let me know how, how obviously, how dim-witted I am, but you can put a camel back in here. You run your tube through this hole, and then you go straight up, and there is a slit, there's a slit right here that you can come out, you know, with, with it to, to come down and you can run it through here and have it right here on your shoulder strap. So there is a way to do that. So yeah, okay. I got you, I'm all over it now. You do have a pocket right here. This red part is a pocket. This part right here has a mesh and there's no pocket. So where's this holster at? I want, I want this, I want this holster, man. You, you promised me a holster. Where's the holster? Okay, another, another pocket. And this, this pocket, this pocket right here, this is the clam. And the clam does not, does it open all the way? Man, I have a feeling this is the worst bag review ever. Because I'm just all over the place. Come on, baby. Uh, let's see. Yes, it, the, the zipper, yeah, the zippers do go all the way down. So the zippers do allow you to actually clam this bag out, which is nice because it gives you complete unfettered access to the bag. Okay. Okay. So now in this compartment, the, the compartment goes all the way to here, all the way to right here. And you have... One little two. You have one here, and then you have two mesh pockets right here that split this pocket. This pocket right here. Okay. Okay, so then we have a front pocket, a little, like, kind of like a quarter, a quarter size pocket right here at the top. And you do have some Velcro that is stitched in and it does have it does have this bungee you know ran through this side and this side so that you can bungee some stuff up here does have some molly on the front on the front pack here it does have some this is covered in molly awesome and it and one of the things I do love is that it does have this because what happens is if you if you weigh down this compartment, when you stand the bag up and you have a lot of weight here, it wants to pull the bag down, and this allows you to choke the bottom because this this strap goes all the way to the bottom, and I really like that because not a lot of bags do that. But this this, as you can see, this strap it goes all the way to the bottom. It comes all the way up through this little DDT logo here in the front, and then it has a, a, a snap here that allows you to hook it. To this right here so if you overweight the pack it's not 
pulling down. So, you know, it's kind of weird to explain. If you had any, if you have any experience with packs, you, you automatically know what I'm talking about. But it just, it keeps everything pushed. You can pull everything up. So awesome. So I, I really love that feature too. This really, this bag really does have everything that you need. It's, it's really a, a really good bag. I really do like it. So I'm assuming that the gun holster is this compartment right here because it does have this Velcro and you could theoretically take uh, even a large frame pistol, which I'm not going to, I'm not going to go get one of my guns, but you could definitely put a large frame pistol in here, put the, you know, put it in this way with the, with the, the butt down here and then it has Velcro right here. So, you know, no matter what size gun you have, you can, you can cinch it down and you can have it, you know, right here in this bag. So I'm assuming that that, since I didn't find anything else, I'm assuming that that is what the holster is all about. Okay, guys, I apologize. This bag was really awesome, and it really sidetracked me, and I spent a lot of time on it. I do apologize. But uh, check them out. Uh, where's, what's the website again? What did I do with the, where did things go? Oh, there we go. It was DDT dash ops.com ddtops.com okay so we got this bag and let's see this is a level two box so this is their second tier their higher tier of the boxes and the the ddt bag which i tell you what real quick if you've never heard of them tell me in the comment section down well i'm gonna tell you don't worry about it i'm gonna tell you anyway but think for a minute what does ddt stand for i wouldn't have guessed it Stands for Death Dealer Tactical. How cool is that? Death Dealer Tactical. It's a Venom Assault Pack. Uh, they, they, they put a price tag on this at 80 bucks. The Cold Steel Urban Edge, the little neck knife here, 38 bucks, which I would say is about right. As I told you, that AUS-8 steel is, you know, relatively not expensive. It's on the, on the lower end, but still a very good knife. The multi-purpose microfiber towel, nine bucks. Sounds about right. The two light sticks, two dollars and ninety-five cents. Okay, I'm not going to argue with that. Flexible water bottle, three dollars and ninety-five cents. Okay. All right, not going to argue. And the torch, twenty-one ninety-five. That sounds about right. And then your Butane fuel, three dollars and thirty cents. Uh, this is seventy-five milliliters. I don't know. That sounds a little high. Ah, that is fine. Three dollars thirty cents. Cool. Okay. That's everything. I guess we got the paracord for free because it's not even listed on here. So if that's the level two uh, box, if you got the level one box, you did not get the Death Dealer Venom Assault Pack. Yes, you did not get that. You got the knife, you got the microfiber towel, you got the, the light sticks, you got the water bottle, the Zippo torch, and the fuel. So the difference between these two packs is this really awesome bug out bag. And I think this, this uh, I've been having some comments on some of my older videos, which I do appreciate you guys watching. And I really do hope that uh, everybody subscribed to the channel and I hope you do go through my videos and actually watch some of my older videos even though I, I feel I'm getting a little bit better at doing this kind of stuff. But I did a video about these pre-made bug out bags and how much I, and I don't know if you can get this feel from those videos, but I really do despise the commercially available bug out bags. With one exception is the My Medic bag. It was actually, it had decent gear in it. It was very expensive, but for the price, I felt you were getting some good quality gear and a really good dry bag. Stuff like this, if, if you were going to ask me my opinion on a bug out bag, do something like this. Get a really awesome bag like this and build it, build it yourself. Because no company knows you. No company knows where you live. But you do you know right outside your door what your immediate needs are if you need to go from one point to another. You know that. I don't know that. I live 
in lower Alabama on the southern Gulf Coast. Okay, I live right on the Gulf of Mexico. So my needs are way different than somebody living up, say, toward the Canadian border in, in the United States. Our needs are polar opposites, literally. They're, they're, they're night and day difference. So build your kit for you. If you say, okay, my objective is to do this one thing, then you need to step by step go through and assess what it is you're going to need. And by you building the kit yourself, you're going to have more familiarity with the items that are in the kit so that you are more prepared. When you grab this bag that you, you know, you packed yourself, you knew every single item that went into the bag and you knew the exact purpose for said item. When you grab this bag, it's a done deal. You don't have to think. You know where everything's packed away and you know why it's there. You, you know what your mindset was when you thought about what those things were going to be. And again, I'm sorry this video went so long, but yeah, subscribe to the channel if, if you're not and thank you for watching and the subscribe little round Duma Flachi, I think is, it's, it's here. It's right here. And there's another video you can watch on one of these sides. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with me and comment below anything about this particular bag, anything you liked, anything you disliked, anything that you think, hey man, this is worth it. You know, this, this is actually a good subscription service. Let me know in the comments section down below. I really do like having you guys feedback and we'll see you next time. Peace.